All right, just taking a quick look at this Rayovac power station. This one, the Journey 1000. This is actually, I think, I think they've done some research here. You know, is it, you know, is it going to be as impressive? I think probably the most impressive one we've seen so far from, you know, a non power station brand is that Segway, the Segway Cube. I think that's probably the best one we've seen. But there's still a lot, there's a lot of good stuff here with this Journey 1000. So let's kind of go through it. And so the first thing to talk about is the lifespan. Yeah, it's up to 10 years. You know, this is kind of what everybody's claiming nowadays. And they can make this claim because, yeah, they are using LFP batteries. And it looks like good high quality cells as well. Because they're claiming 4,000 cycles. And that is to 80%. And then for the inverter, we do get 1,000 watt continuous. So 2,000 watt surge. So no, you're not going to be able to plug, you know, everything you find in your house. <laughs> You're not going to be able to plug it in. You're not going to plug in your full-size microwave with this thing. But this is a portable power station, isn't it? So you're going to be using this ideally with portable appliances. And when you only have 1,000 watt hours to work with, it's kind of a good idea, you know, really. It's kind of a good idea not to have a huge inverter. And, of course, too, it's going to help keep the size and weight down. Yeah, because, yeah, we're talking about portable power stations here, aren't we? So, in fact, to see this thing... 28 pounds so it's not the best it's not the best in class but it's very close you know it's very close some of the best ones are around 25 pounds 26 pounds it's very close isn't it so it's close enough it's close enough you know I, i'll let you in on a little secret here <laughs> you know there's nothing there's nothing here that's better than any of the big brands that we talked about. You're not gonna find anything that's better. <laughs> you know, I hate to disappoint you, but you might be saying, you know, it looks like this thing's got a really cool, unique, innovative light, an LED light here that kind of stands up on the power station. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's not, they're not the first. They're not the first one. In fact, this is the C800 Plus from Acre, very similar. So the plus model has this little light that fits into the storage area at the top there. And, you know, you can deploy, <laughs> you can deploy it basically. It's got like this little telescoping pole on it and a magnetic ball too, ball joint there. So you can kind of aim and, and direct this thing. So yeah, they've kind of, <laughs> they've kind of tried to do the same thing here. So actually there's like, this is almost a better design in fact, because on the back here, this is where it actually charges, but you know, you can still use it even when it's docked in the charger here. As like a lot of power stations just have like a light, an LED light on the backside. So, you know, or you can kind of stand it up on top of here to get a little bit more broader coverage, I guess. And you can see there is this little slot as well. So, you know, that part is real similar to, this, to that Anchor C800 except it's not quite as nice. <laughs> you know, you can see there, it's just like this slat that's exposed. Whereas, you know, on the C800, where that pole goes, you, can, well, you can't really see it that well in this picture, but there is like a little cap. See that? There's a little cap for the hole that, the, you know, that it goes in. So, you know, yes, the anchor is, it's just a nicer finished product. You know, it looks nicer. And, and it does have the light on the front too. So you, in this, with this C800 plus, you actually get two lights, you know, you get two lights and you could still even fit, you know, some cables in the top part there, that top compartment, because the, this LED light, it doesn't take up the whole compartment. Now you can get the same model without this light. And then you would have like actually a really, a really generous storage box to use for whatever. And yes, this thing does have a UPS function. Now, there's no mention at all of the spec here. You know, how many milliseconds it actually switches over. I've, I looked everywhere in this listing. They don't, <laughs> they don't say. And of course, you know, the UPS mode, it always means they're using a bi-directional inverter. And so, yeah, that will enable you to charge this thing up from the wall, from grid power in an hour and 20 minutes is what they're saying. So it's, as we said, it's about a thousand watt hours it'll actually charge at up to 860 watts from the wall. So, you know, that's good. That's actually really good. And then for solar, it's decent. It's actually decent. It's not the greatest, but 
it is, you know, you can still use this with solar and still get some good power out of it. 300 watts maximum, but guess what? It is up to 48 volts. So that will allow you to use some larger panels or put some standard regular panels in series. And in fact, what's really nice about this, check this out. <laughs> they actually give you all the specs here. In fact, not just for solar, like for all the output ports. So good job on Rayovac or whoever put this little graphic together. And then the 12 volts, you know, you might be looking at this thinking, <laughs> you know, you might be thinking all you get is the two little barrel ports. No, actually there is a 12 volt socket. I don't know why, why is it over here on the side? <laughs> Especially like these ports, you know, these barrel ports, they're not even like centered in this little DC area. So I don't know if that was like a last minute change or what. But yeah, so you do get a total of three 12 volt outlets. And what's really weird about that 12 volt layout on the Journey 1000 is that this, they have a smaller model here as well. This is the Trek 600 and yes, yes, it still has this, this same kind of light. You know, it has the same light. So, but yeah, as you can see, it's got the kind of traditional 12 volt outlet. All, you know, all three of them are right on the front. In, in fact, <laughs> not only that, but they got the AC outputs on the front as well. So I don't know why they couldn't have had the same layout, you know, on the larger Journey 1000. Now, there's something unusual. We got to talk about this Trek 600. Because if you think this thing's got like basically all the same specs and features as the Journey 1000, just a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. This thing, this is weird. So they're saying that this Trek 600, it doesn't just have less capacity. You know, it, it actually uses a totally different battery, an L LMO battery, in fact. And I haven't even seen any power station mention this before. So I don't know. Plus, you would think it would just be easier to use the same cells that they're getting for the Journey 1000 and just put less of them inside because then all you got to do is worry about one supplier. And I guess they didn't want to do the NMC route either, you know, because probably because of the whole cobalt issue, you know, the environmental aspect, the ethical aspect of it and the safety aspect of it, really. That's kind of one of the main ingredients that makes NMC, you know, not have the greatest safety record. So, yeah, I guess they wanted to go with LMO. Now, I found this chart online, and on this chart, they basically say the safety is about the same as NMC, but again, without cobalt in it, I got to imagine it's got to be a little bit better. But the lifespan, as you can see, you know, compared, we're comparing these two. Yeah, the lifespan is less. So, the, in fact, they say it's only 800 cycles to 80%. Which nowadays the kind of industry standard NMC cells can do a thousand cycles, right? So, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. All the other specs are pretty similar, pretty similar to NMC. But again, you know, I don't know why they went to just. Eh, this is just weird. <laughs> it's just weird. So that's one thing to note. And another thing to consider actually is there's no bi directional inverter here either. So I don't know why they've, I guess they've kind of gone down this route of just using older tech. So yeah, as you can see, there's a power brick here and the solar input as well is less, 150 watts and 30 volts, you know? So yeah, basically this is just like an old, it's an old, it's really, it's an old outdated model already, which is just, you know, it's unfortunate for one, but it's just weird too, because they did a good job on this Journey 1000.